Hello friends, welcome to Safe Boundary Game video tutorials series. In the previous video tutorial, we understood how to create menu for our Save Boundary Game. In this video tutorial, we are going to write codes for Play button and Exit button. What I do? I click on New Layer button. It creates a new layer. I rename this layer to Actions layer. I say Actions underscore layer. In the actions layer, we are going to write all our action script code guys. I click on the play button. You can see its instance name is play underscore btn. I told you that we can access the button with the help of instance name. I am going to copy play underscore btn, control c to copy. I go to first frame of actions layer. I go to window menu and launch the actions window. You can see that actions window is launched. In the actions window, we are going to write action script code guys. Here I say play underscore btn dot add event listener. To the add event listener function, we are going to pass the event and the event handler name guys. I say here mouse event dot click comma and event handler name I say on play button clicked bracket close semicolon when we click on play button on play button clicked event handler is called and what is an event handler event handler is a function which handles specific event guys I am going to copy on play button clicked event handler name I say control C to copy I go down here and I'm going to create a function function on play button clicked it is going to have one variable of type mouse event with the name e colon mouse event then we write the return type of the function I say here colon wide this function does not return any value back so we write colon wide opening floor bracket closing floor bracket so that is how we create an event handler function guys understanding when we click on the play button, what happens? On play button clicked function is called and codes inside it are executed. Now what we want is when we click on the play button, our playhead should go to the second frame and stop there. Let me close this. When we click on the play button, what should happen? Our playhead should go to the second frame and stop there. What I do? I create one new layer. And I rename this layer to ball underscore layer. I just put it down. In the first frame of ball layer will not be having anything. It will be empty. I go to second frame and press F7 key. When we press F7 key, it adds one blank key frame guys. One blank key frame it adds. In this frame, I am going to create one ball. I select the rectangle tool and I select the fill radial green I click and drag here I select this fill using the selection tool set its width to 20 and height to 20 you can see in the first frame we have game title play button exit button in the second frame we have ball okay I go back to the first frame of the actions layer go to window menu launch the actions here we use a function called as go to and stop. We give frame number, I give here 2, bracket close semicolon. When we click on the play button, what happens? The playhead goes to the second frame and stops there guys. Go to and stop in second frame. That's the meaning of this code. I say control S to save. I close it. I hit control enter. You can see when I hit control enter, it is flickering. What is happening here? I close it. Actually, the playhead is playing the first frame and the second frame in a loop. First frame, second frame, first frame, second frame, first frame, second frame, like that. Playhead is playing both the frames here. Right? We have to stop the playhead in the first frame. So what I do? Again, I click on the first frame of the actions layer. Go to window menu and say actions. Here, I'm going to call a function called as stop. Bracket, bracket semicolon what stop function does 
it stops the playhead in the first frame itself and when we click on the play button playhead goes to the second frame and stops there guys i say control s to save and close this window i hit control enter you can see now we are not seeing any flickering because playhead is in the first frame itself when i click on the play button playhead goes to the second frame and stop there in the second frame we have the ball right guys i close it that is how we write the code for play button i click on the first frame of the actions layer go to window menu and say actions so that's the code for play button guys we just need to add click event on the play button when we click on the play button automatically on play button clicked function is called playhead goes to the second frame and stops there okay let me save it and close next we are going to write code for exit button if i click on exit button its instance name is exit underscore btn i'm going to copy the instance name control c to copy i go to first frame of the action layer go to window menu and say actions we are going to add event listener to exit button also i say here exit underscore btn dot add event listener mouse event dot click comma on exit button clicked bracket close semicolon when we click on exit button on exit button clicked function should be called or event handler should be called and executed so we create that event handler i say here function on exit button clicked it is going to have a variable e of type mouse event and the return type wide opening flower bracket closing flower bracket when we click on the exit button our game window should get closed guys for that we are going to use a function called as fs command c o m m a n d to the fs command we pass the string with text quit semicolon fs command quit actually closes the game window guys i say control s to save i close it i hit control enter and i try to click on exit button if i click on the exit button you see that the window is not getting closed because fs command works only when we launch our game window externally if we launch the game window using the flash fs command will not work i close it i minimize the flash application i double click on save boundary game folder to open it inside that we have save boundary game flash movie i double click on it it launches the game window so we are launching the game window externally now if i click on exit button you can see that the window got closed because now the fx command is working fs command is responsible for closing the window again i double click on save boundary game flash movie to launch it if i click on exit you can see that it is closing the window i double click on save boundary game flash movie again if i click on the play button you can see that the playhead is in the second frame i close it like that we write the code for play button and the exit button guys that's it guys for this video tutorial i suggest you people to write the code for play button and exit button try it in the upcoming video tutorials we are going to discuss more about save boundary game if you like this video hit the like button and share with your friends so that everyone will get benefited for more benefits and be up to date do not forget to subscribe to my youtube channel keep learning keep coding keep sharing thank you guys thank you very much see you in the next tutorial Thank <laughs> you.